Hey, we're live. We're live. <laughs> Today is November the 5th. And we're coming at you live. <laughs> we're live from Northern Alberta. It's, we're hitting our, we got our first snowfall of the year way up here. Uh, hopefully we'll see some deer. Keep you guys updated. It's the first book of the year on this piece of property that I've seen, so things are starting to heat up as they cool down. <laughs>
person. Yeah. It's November. <laughs> it's cold as out here. It actually, I think, warmed up tonight, or, or this morning was even colder than this. But it's still cold out here. It's minus 20. It's been snowing nonstop since Friday. It's too much We had probably this much snow on top of us before we left the stand. <laughs> Yeah, and it's been non-stop snowing, but not seeing a whole lot of deer in here. I don't know what the heck is going on, but no. usually they're running like crazy and, and we see them ripping through the fields and we haven't even seen a whole lot of that. So it's been a weird season so far. It's only been three days, but still, usually we, I don't know, we would have seen more by now. So yeah. I don't know what happened or what's going on, but hopefully, uh, hopefully things get better here soon. We had, warmer. A little, had a little coyote come in. Yeah, I had a little baby boy. Yeah. Nice little cute little baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> we got some nice video of him. Yeah. But uh I'm yeah. not very slow. Very the cold slow. right now isn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, the cold isn't worth it. No. What the heck? Hi everybody. Today is November 8th. It's an evening hunt out here today. I'm going solo. moving back here. It is packed with trails. Packed with trails. We haven't, uh, we haven't seen much of anything here at this spot, but November 8th, let it be noted for next year, that things are really heating up in here, so we're getting to our stand as quickly as we can. Get set up and hopefully we'll see some tonight. There's a deer right there in front of me. Okay, we're gonna sneak by now. sunset even if it is minus a billion degrees this is this is awesome this is sweet minus, oh shit minus 30 that's it that's all we have to say <laughs>
We're trying out different spots tonight. This is the first night. Last last year we learned this lesson uh, a little bit too late and we only stuck ourselves with about three days left in the season where we both decided to split up so we have a week left still. Emma has first dibs because this is her, her freaking deer camp and she's going over to a piece of property that has a wicked buck on it and there's all kinds of new sign in there so hopefully Emma gets on one. I'm going back to this old spot over here where it's, I just have faith in this spot. <laughs> so. It's just <laughs> definition of insanity. Yeah, it's just Doing dumb. the same thing yeah. over and over but for... You never know. It's surrounded by lots of big woods and um, yeah, to, uh, there's always some sleeper bucks c that come in here that no one's ever seen before. So I'm hoping that that happens tonight. It's a beautiful day. It's gonna be wicked now that I'm not hunting with this guy. <laughs> so <laughs> now I get to do whatever I want. Yeah. So, see if it. See if I can yeah. do better. Let's see. Because there's no luck with him. <laughs> okay. So. We'll Knows nothing. <laughs>
we'll check in with you guys tonight after I get my buck and I have to call Emma to come and help me drag it out. So. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I packed up, okay? So, right where we had the trail camera, right? Yeah. So I was walking in there, and I was just like, walking like I do. Anyway, seeing a moose. I was playing with him. Not really. I was just staring at her. And then I was like, alright. Glass thrust the couple walk. I said, alright. Don't see anything else. So I'll keep moving and check out the other side of that buffer in that alleyway. And then I put my head down and I, we had to walk like to avoid that big puddle there. Yeah. So I was walking and then uh, I put my head down because I was watching where, where my feet were going. And then when I brought it back up, there was suddenly that fucking- Was he there the whole time? No. Because I was staring at that spot. He just appeared because I was looking at that moose and I was looking everywhere. And it was probably, I probably walked, I don't know, like 15 yards. And then I looked back up and then he was there. And I was like, oh fuck. And then he just like looked at me and then I looked at him and I was like, fuck. And then within maybe like five seconds, he was. He went back yeah. the way? Yeah. That way? Yeah. Hi everyone, we are just getting packed up and ready to go to walk in, do a little bit of a hike into our set for tonight. Emma had some brutal luck here last night. Uh, she crept up to within probably, I think she said 50 or 70 yards of uh, a smasher buck that we have some pictures of and uh, I actually saw him last year in person and decided to pass on him then and so uh, he's a shooter for sure now. Uh, both of us agree on that, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, and yeah, Emma just had some brutal luck last night and he just d appeared and then disappeared before he even knew it. So I kind of feel bad for her, but um, I'm heading out tonight. She's back at home doing some schoolwork. So part of me hopes that this deer doesn't walk out. And then the other part of me is thinks, thinks that the other part of me is crazy for thinking that. So if he does walk out, it'll be a, <laughs> a last minute moral, uh, a moral dilemma, I guess. But I just got to get packed up. <laughs> get in there and uh, yeah we'll see what happens really warm today not really ideal this is something you want to be looking for nice low hanging branch
was doing up uh, while I was uh, stirring up a scrape that was already created there the other day. I pulled the SD card from the trail camera. I'm gonna have a look at it when I get home, but it is all torn up. It is just tracks right through there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what's on that camera. Guess it, I'm back in another wood pile. Uh, we're overlooking an entire logging road, which is pretty good. Um, the last ones, not that there's anything wrong with them, but I couldn't quite see as far as I can in this one, so I can probably see like 600 yards out. Um, pretty heavily packed game trails this whole way around. Uh, this is the first time I've really scouted this entire quarter section of property and I'm um, feeling pretty deflated here after after um, putting in so much time and not even seeing very much but that's hunting for you so it's going to be a full day set for me today. I decided that around 11 o'clock this morning that I wasn't going to go home. I wish I had brought like a thermos of coffee or something, that would have been awesome just to have coffee out here, but... So, no food, no water, none of that stuff, but, uh, and I think I've walked probably four kilometers so far, which is pretty decent, but, um, yeah, aside from those two deer at, at Legal Light, I haven't seen anything, but, like I said, that's on. It's nice to be out here, it's minus seven, but it's definitely... I've been out in much colder days than this, so I'm really hoping I at least see something. Bring me a moose, or an elk, or a wolf, a cougar at long distance, but it'd just be nice to see something out here.
Bulls. <laughs> guys today is november 26th penultimate day of hunting here in the 22 season so we're gonna be hunting all day today brought a bunch of snacks and a little smoothie for some calories so i'm gonna hit the woods here as soon as, as soon as it hits light uh, we're about five minutes away right now already seeing some deer so that's a good sign but hopefully we didn't spook everything too far away so this is it this is this is crunch time let's get it done
one, so I've seen one borderline a tiny bit bigger. He would have been a shooter, but given the day it is, buck. And then I saw a little bit of a smaller one, well, a really small one, who just appeared out of nowhere at like 10 yards. I doubted this place, and it's jam-packed full of action in here. It's a lot of fun. On each end of this bush quarter, there's big open fields, and both of those fields we've seen different big bucks, and so the hope is that uh, at least one of those bucks is traveling through. Uh, either way, like I said earlier, it's like a friggin' highway through here. There's rubs, scrapes, deer poop, tracks, beat down everywhere, so it's just like a, it's a wicked little sanctuary here for Boynton. They're walking up on me, and the first buck ran at me, and the second buck literally appeared. I have no idea how he just appeared out of nowhere, but uh, much too small, but still crazy and cool experience. Hopefully we have some. I know that there's big deer in here. They, they have to travel through here, so it's just a matter of, I think it's up to a little bit of luck at this point in time. So stay impatient, remain a positive. Tip number one, don't give up. Well guys, I'm doing my final approach here, my final walk out. It's November 27th today and uh, another humbling whitetail experience. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's easy to go and say I'm going to shoot a 180 or, or up this year and that's it and hope that something's going to pop out that's going to be 180 plus, but those deer just don't just pop out. <laughs> And that's what, that's the hard lesson that I've come to learn over the last couple of years. I'm not going to give up on the 180 standard though. I know that they're out here. I just got to reassess and regroup, find different areas. And I don't know, it's a, it's a frustrating feat, but regardless, seen some really awesome deer out here, had a lot of cool experiences. Um, and I can, I can kind of hang my hat knowing that I actually I put in a lot of effort this season I was up I was, yeah I put in a lot of time in the woods this year and last year um, but when you're hunting big bucks that's the name of the game you got to do that every day and and uh, eventually it'll pay off uh, this year it wasn't my year but saw a lot of nice bucks being posted uh, of people 
being successful this year, which was really cool to see, and that might be me next year. Really grateful for the elk that I got earlier in September. He's got those steaks. I've shared a lot of that meat actually with some coworkers and friends of mine who, um, some of them try and game meat for the first time and they're they're big fans of it, so I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy for, for Emma who tagged out on a really nice deer, rattled him in or sat in and still hunted him and ended up getting successful with him, so. Not a complete wash of a year. It's never a complete wash of a year. We'll be back next year. We got trail cameras out at different spots just to see what's kind of still running around, what's still kicking and, and surviving. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look at those photos here. We'll probably pull the cameras maybe around Christmas time or early next year, 2023. We'll check them out and make a plan and do this all over again next year. <laughs> again, guys, for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you love hunting, you'll kind of love what we do here. So thanks again, and we'll we'll, we'll talk to you guys later.